crazy art teacher thing to try. I found a cicada shedding. This is not a bug, but it is the shell of a bug that has shed its skin to go to the next stage. You can see that hole on its back. That's where the cicada came up. I don't have big problems with bugs. They, they serve good purposes and insects. And um, But I've always really kind of dug these cicada shells because you get the legs, you get the eyes, you get all the different pieces of it. Whole nine yards, it's the whole like antenna, the whole thing is there. And it's not that, it's just what was left over. Anyway, so I'm going to try to fill the empty cavity with hot glue just to make it rigid because it's really thin right now, paper thin. And then I'm going to paint it because I'm curious to see what it's going to look like. Experiments! That's one of the things that our teachers do. So, little cicada bug. I'm going to try and fill them up with hot glue. So I have it set, hot glue gun set on hot, because I want it to be pretty liquidy. So, we'll see what that looks like and if it works, and let him sit for a while. Okay, so I filled my little cicada shell with hot glue. Again, this is not a real bug. It's just the shed skin. I took a bit of a kneaded eraser and I made a little base for him so I can stand him up while I'm working so I don't have to keep touching the wet paint. I have my ice cube tray with some colors that I like. I like the blues and the greens and the gold. It's got some iridescence in there. Just play around. And <laughs> I'm using my fuzzy, fuzzy spoon lesson. And I'm just gonna paint them a little bit. Alright, so this is my painted cicada shell. What's the weirdest thing you've ever painted on? <laughs>